Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend with Jonathan Hello. and myself Tony. Uh, this week we're going to be going through the Kenwood product range. Now there's been a lot of rumours with regards to the range, availability etc. Are Kenwood leaving amateur radio? Jonathan? No. Well, no, no, exactly. I was going to say, what have you heard? But no, 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 they're not. And we're exactly the same. So for those that don't know, we are direct to Kenwood. So we're Kenwood's main distributor for the radios in the UK. Um, there are new models on their way that we can tell you. However, for those that don't know and who haven't been reading the correct stuff on the internet, there has been an issue with chip supply. Yeah, it's everywhere. It is. It it's is. everywhere. So yeah. if you haven't heard, there was a huge fire at a component factory in Japan, October time last year, it's affected the supply of pretty much all electronics. And Kenwood is no different. Yeah, and unfortunately, the, the chip they were going to use is part of the new radio line that was going to come out. So, with that in mind, what they have done is they have ramped up production of the existing lineup, i.e. the 990, the 890, the 590SG. And it's those radios that we're going to kind of go through with you and give you another brief kind of look back and just yeah. a reminder of some of the features of these radios. So uh, if you'd like to take a look at the 990 first. So Kenwood's flagship radio, the TS990S. HF, 6 metres, touchscreen. Touchscreen, 200 watts out. Uh, and of course, twin receive. That's the yeah, nice. that's kind of the, the key selling point. Great radio if you're, if you're a contester or a DXer in the fact that you have got that secondary receiver on there, which rumours, I believe, mm. are based that the second receiver is actually the same as a 590 main receiver. Yeah. So great, great backup. Um, ease, ease of use with this. Your main controls are all on the front of the radio. Don't panic. Don't look at it and think, I'm flying the Starship yeah, Enterprise that, here. Because, that, that's often what people say. Yeah. Obviously it is prime position here in the showroom. Lots of people come in and have a look, one look at it and go, oh my goodness, how on earth do you use that? But Tony's right. All, everything you're going to use on a regular basis is on the front panel. Um, or if it's not, it's only going to be one button away. Yeah, I mean, if, if we take a look, close look at the screen, we've um, got a simple menu button, basically. And if we press the menu button, Rather than the abbreviated list of yeah. all your controls and your extra features, your, your scopes and your, your filters, etc., it's all it's all in clear yeah, text. It's all very clear text on here. And not only you don't have to guess because it also shows you what the sub menus are. Exactly. So, and another nice feature I like when you're saying about showing you what to do when you're in a panic, getting ready for that working out DX, it actually highlights the multifunction button. Yeah. So you know exactly which one to move. And if I turn that, you'll see that the menus are going up and down. So that's a great way of doing it. And as we said, these are touchscreen. Can we uh, very kindly provide these pens, to which we do have some. So if you want to spend uh, in excess of £5,000, we will give you a free pen. Or spend five grand on a pen and free radio. Oh, and get yeah. a radio, yeah. yeah. So you can literally... I have to come out of that now, don't I? Because I always forget that. Yeah. So we come out of the menu option. And if you do see a bit of DX, a bit of activity as you can here, you can just literally press and go straight to frequency, which is just a lovely way of operating. So that's that change. For those of you that haven't kind of transversed over onto a, a scope or a pan adapter, that's where your operating changes completely. It is. Yeah. Well, I mean, once you use one, there's no going back. However, I still like using my ears and... Using your ears, yeah. I like using a bit of both. So I like using my ears and also seeing on the scope and, and that balance of being able to rely on both. Yeah, that's very true. So, yep, yeah, so ease of use, tick point without a doubt. Um, another main feature on this, as you'll see, is they've kind of reverted back to the old school Kenwood operating systems. They've got a lovely little dial put on there as well. And there is a shortwave listener mode, I believe, as well, Jonathan, if you can remember how to do that. Oh, can I remember how to do that on this? Yes. Uh, let's do it well. There we go. So that is ease of use, because I did throw Jonathan under the bus there, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how easy it was to find it on the menu system. So, you know, don't panic. If you want to go for that flagship radio, by all means, come and have a chat with the guys. Never panic, because we've always got the, the nifty manuals available as well. And these... We mention these every week. They, they are an absolute godsend sometimes when you're, uh, when you're trying to demonstrate a radio and you, and you kind of forget how to do that one particular function. Exactly. They are fantastic. Yeah. And, and really considering helpful. the size of the manual. So I remember the, uh, one of the first units that I sold back in Chertsey of this, that had about a two-week lead time, yeah. and the guy went on a cruise. 
So he downloaded the PDF of the manual and read the whole manual during the cruise. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, he was a CW op. Uh, good thing with the Kenwood transceivers is it's down to 50 hertz on the filtering on CW. Yeah. Which is just immense. So no extra uh, CW filters needed. No, just all in there. On. But yeah, absolute beauty. Um, what if I want to do FTH, Jonathan? Is it very easy to do with a camera? Yeah, simple USB cable on the back. It's the same mm -hmm. the USB Type B that pretty much every radio now has. Um, uh, sound card and cat control, so you easily get on running with FTA or other digital modes um, straight away. Yeah, and whilst we're on the, the subject of connecting to a PC, again with the remote option, software is free of charge on the Kenwood yep. website, and again it's USB. And if you want to get the scope out, there's none of this panicking with running SDRs, etc. Display straight in the back and just route it straight out, which yeah. we should do again here actually. Yeah, We've got the room, so uh, we might do that again. Yeah, I'm ready for the new one. Right, so. Uh, I don't need 200 watts. I don't need the second receiver. What do you suggest? But I still want to. You still want. You still want a nice. high, Yeah, I still want a, a luxury version of a yeah. radio. Yeah. Well, in, in, in which case, it's the TS 890. It's, okay. It's, it's lovely. So it is very much the baby brother to the 990. As you can see, it's a very similar layout in terms of how it's been designed. Uh, you've still got that nice big touch screen, and it is almost exactly the same size as you find on the 990. And yes, it still has that uh, SWL mode too. Um, again, everything is on the front panel, so you, you don't get that little screen anymore, but you still you know, get the big screen, and everything's you know very clear and easy to read. 100 watts out, as Tony says, a really capable and competent receiver here. Uh, and it's got sort of SDI architecture driving the, the scope. It's a super head receiver, but what you see on the scope is sort of SDR derived. Like this could go on. You can you can also tail a 590 off it. So if you did want two can receivers. You, yeah, for contest mode, is, uh, SO2R is phenomenal yeah. with it, which you can do, I know, with the 590, which we'll have to take a look at you know, a little bit later. So if you are worried about that second receiver, grab a 590, even a used one is let's sub 1,000 pounds now. Yeah. So you can have a great station for under 5,000 pounds. Exactly. Yeah, keep operating on it. Exactly. Same menu structure as well. So if we come back into the screen, you can see it's that same menu structure we found on the 990. Everything really clear. CWD code as well on these, mm -hmm. of course, which is, it works. That was a push. Because I remember when the, uh, the 990 first came out, we did mention oh, CWD code and, um, with regards to the way that CW is appreciated in Japan, they were kind of like, well, no, if you're going to do CW, you need to learn. Do CW, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was a big a big push on that and on the 590. So great, yeah. great additional feature, and thank you guys at the factory. Absolutely. So, yeah, CW code, and it works really well in the Kenwood range. It's, it's just fantastic. Mm. Again, everything nice and easy. It just it just works. Again, same USB on the back, so yeah. there's no, no issues with in terms of you know configuring it for things like FT8 or, or other digital modes. Are we still ask going to say a quick question with mm. regards, because I know the 990's got it, do you know if we can run a separate receive antenna yes. on the lower band, so it's exactly the same um, reference out the back as well? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, let more. me take you, you stay there, I'll take it. Yeah, have, have a look around the I'll back. I'll do the walk for you. Yeah. Yes, okay. we've got a reference in of 10 megs, which is good. Perfect. Uh, good. And drive out as well, so if you're running transverters, Excellent. So, one front transfer yeah, straight through. Um, of course, you've also got that DVI output on the back as well, so you could put the screen up on a big monitor too. Yeah. Uh, one thing to bear in mind if you do decide to go for an 890, unlike the 990 where the power supply is built in, you will need a separate power supply. So, good 30 amp power supply, and uh, away you go, basically. Yeah. Uh, as with any of the flagship radios from Kenwood, you are going to need a microphone. That's all right, though. We've got you covered. That is true. We'll throw one in. That is true. Yep, so the MC43S uh, fist mic does come complete with our five, uh, sorry, 990s and 890s, and with the 590 as well. Yeah. So generous. <laughs> it does actually come with that one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll claim it. <laughs> um, obviously, if you don't want to go down the route of a fist mic, um, you want to go for a desk mic, then we have the MC60s in stock and the MC90s. Uh, difference with the MC90, you've got a bit wider audio bandwidth on there. Yeah. So. Um, what we didn't mention with these two, 990 and the 890 is you have a 10 band graphic EQ on your outgoing and incoming. You audio. can really tell your audio yeah. I mean, and make it punch. Yeah, you're a bit of an audio file when it comes to broadcasting, etc. Yeah, so. you can make them yeah. proper, as they say, BBC quality. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So I, I use the 590 more for the Channel 4 style. <laughs> <laughs> so, E4, you mean? 
we go. <laughs> Be BBC Three before I know it. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's kind of the overview with regards to the 990 and the 890. All available from stock. We have got fresh stock arriving again next week. You'll be glad to know. Uh, hey. Um, there's not many dealers actually that are stocking them at the moment for whatever reason. Well, I think all because of the panic that we mentioned earlier. There is no panic. Kenwood is still going. They're still very strong within the amateur market. And like I said, as soon as these chips become available, there will be more movement on the newer radios. Uh, 480s, I believe we can still get. Yep. A uh, little bit slow on production, but they will be coming soon, hence why we haven't featured them here. But keep watching the website. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and if you want a, a 710D, 710, it's B-Stock now only. Yeah. yeah. We, have, we have got a couple of those B-Stock mm -hmm. at the moment. So if you're after a really... It's it's just fantastic. Dual receive, FM, 50 watts out on both, um, 2 and 70, yep. GPS, APRS, good for Echo Link as well. Exactly. It's got a lot Great for, for space it. stations. If you've got a space station, I know a lot of people are going to space lately. Yeah, we're looking at you, can't, Jeff. Kind of yeah. be, be the, the thing to do now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and you, Richard, as well. Yeah. If you, yeah, so if you're going to space, you need a D710. That's yeah, exactly. basically what we're saying. Yeah, and let's have another digi repeat right there. Yeah, come on. Right, anyway, let's take a look at the 590 yes. as we go around. We've got the MC90 and the MC60 boxes there. And we'll get uh, a little cut round done on that. So if you take a look. So that's the 590 SG. Been around for a fair bit now. So original incarnation 590S. Yeah, back in 2010 era. Uh, 590 SG obviously came out a couple of years later. Improved DSP. Uh, added the CWD code mm -hmm. and also extra colour on the screen, that's your there favourite is. one. That is, that is always <laughs> my favourite, the extra colour on the screen, I do love that. So if we take a, another look around, I'll go through the menu functions again with this, we'll go to the one that's switched on. Again, simple menu button, and you're probably looking at this and saying, hold on a minute, they all look the same, these radios from the front. Yeah. So UI on the Kenwood stuff, really, really easy. I don't know who does their UI, but it is, it's just so easy to get on there. Again, full description of what you're about to change. So this one's showing me the firmware, for example. Again, it's highlighted the multi-function button, so I can change that. So we're on color, for example. Oh. You can click in, got the key response, all your volumes, side tones, everything's nice and easy. It's just there. It's just there for you. And again, as with all new radios, they all come with a manual. You can get PDFs. Always recommend get a PDF. Absolutely, Control I, 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 it's the most. <laughs> I, I've tried doing that on paper. It doesn't work. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Very true. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, five ninety S. Gary loves these for doing uh, data working with. Uh, so again, FTA, FT four, PSK thirty one, even. Uh, I've um, used these on um, uh, FT eight. They work fantastic. He's, 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 I'm just yeah. You're, I'm just playing with the color. I was having colors. a little play with the color there. Yeah. There we go. Quite, quite distracting over the side. Um, but yeah, really, really easy. You can also hook um, SDR plays up mm -hmm. to these quite easily. Uh, I think, yeah, you've also got the drive on the back as well, yeah. so you can do yeah, transfer to yeah, transfer to work, yeah. They yeah. just work. Um, I used one of these at a contest very recently. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. How did you find it? Fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, they're just... It, the, we always say this with Kenwood, the ears are really good. Oh, and okay. it's <laughs> just... Well, Years of history, working with audio, and it's yeah. just, yeah, it just works. Pays off. Um, what I was going to say with the 590 as well, we use these in the training school. Yes, we do. So they are a great radio. If, if you're transversing from, say, just say you're interested in radio a good 15, 20 years ago, or you're coming back into the hobby, and you're a bit panicky about the SDR and the bling yeah. of the, of the colour screens, etc., this is the ideal radio, because you're still getting the same performance as you are with some of the SDR radios. Mm. And it's just so easy to use. You're going to look at it and think, hold on a minute, this reminds me of my 570 or my 930. It's a, it's yeah. a very, yeah. And if you're coming from something like a 570 in particular, it's a very natural progression. It, it, it retains a lot of the same feature set, but just improves upon it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the, the main range of Kenwood as we've gone through with the, the flagship. Really middle of the range, is it? It's a very no, strange one. It's, it's, kind of, it's, it's carved its own. It's, it's the 100 watt part. flagship. It's the 100 watt flagship, yeah, yeah, exactly that. And the 590 with its uh, HF and 6 meters. Um, regards to the handhelds of Kenwood, obviously, we're still waiting on news of a new one from that. Uh, and the, the chip's taken out the D74, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, if you do see a used one, great handhelds. You know, we have to mention it. 
HF receive on it, it's multi mode. Multi mode. Yeah. D Star as well. First time we've seen D Star from anybody other mm -hmm. than Icon. That sounds amazing. Oh, it's you yeah. could tell you what if you. I mean, I know that you do a bit fair bit of D Star. Yeah, I, I like do a as bit well. of D Star. Yeah. You can always tell when someone's using a D seventy four. Yeah, because it just sounds super. It just sounds natural. It does. It, has, <laughs> it doesn't. It hasn't got like ring to it. It's just a natural sound. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, you can. The good thing with that is you can have it in the car. You can stick a little antenna on and still receive some HF. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not going to be well performance, but it's there and it's a nice added feature. Absolutely, yeah. It, they just work. They yeah. just work. Nice color screen. They're, mm -hmm. yeah, very clear menu structure, as we've been saying with Kenwood. Yeah. They are a great radio. If you can go with one. Exactly. Uh, before we go as well, just a quick update um, with regards to the used equipment, etc. We'll be doing the live video again on Saturday, which will be tomorrow for you, for most of you watching it now. Um, we will try and do some giveaways if you're going to buy Kenwood products. So. If you're after one of the 990s or the 890s or 590 even, give the guys a call rather than go via the internet and uh, we'll see if we can do a, maybe a little special, especially in this heat. So we may do like a nice little towel maybe just to wipe away the sweat. That will be good, good for the shack, yeah. Because be often good. shacks are in either sheds or lofts where it gets very hot. Very hot, hot yeah. My, my, my shack at the moment is unbearable. Yeah. But you bought the air conditioner. It, it makes it just about oh, bearable. <laughs> Pointed at you. We're not going to give away an air conditioner. That, I can tell you that much. So, uh, <laughs> don't, don't. if only. Yeah, if only, exactly. <laughs> We're lucky to. But if you are very, very hot and it is that desperate, then just come and visit us at the store because it's absolutely yeah. beautiful in here at the moment. Even though Jonathan is wearing shorts. It's well, hot outside. I thought you were preparing for the Olympics, which starts today. Well, well, exactly. I, I'm just waiting for the call up for the women's football team that was earlier on <laughs> today. We're call, recording it. <laughs> We're Didn't going happen. To, we're going to check the results on ah. that. Uh, just a quick one. As with any radio, you're going to need an antenna. Hustler have just arrived in the building. Yes, plenty in stock. So if you are after, and mm -hmm. new pricing? I did, yeah. I've put the price down on the 4 BTVs and the 5 BTVs and even the 6 BTVs just slightly. Just a little bit, but just a bit tickle. The, the 4 BTV is an absolute bargain now. So if you want a four band vertical for HF that's not too high, doesn't annoy the neighbours too much. There's no sticky de pokey -de bits coming out of it. Remind um, us what bands it does. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'll be honest with you. Excellent. It's 40, 40, 20, 15 and 10. And 15 and 10, yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It was close. I had to run through yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the mind there. Uh, if you want 80, then obviously look for the 6B TV yeah. and then the 5B TV gives you the added band of. Uh, 5B TV goes, gives you 80, 6B TV gives you 30. There you go, as well as 80. As well as 80. There we go, brilliant. <laughs> we'll leave it there and uh, we're just going to go wind each other up a little bit more. Exactly. Take care. Thanks Bye. for watching.